Welcome everyone. God bless you all. I'm Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves. I'm the founder of Rejoice the Center Magazine. It's also Christian Arthur. How, how's everybody doing today? I hope y'all feeling good and blessed and highly favored of the Lord. I'm excited. I don't have a lot of time. I gotta um, go to my church at 12 and feed some homeless people. But I wanted to come on here really, really, really quickly and to pray with you guys and to encourage somebody and to motivate somebody. How y'all doing today? God bless you, Miss Ruby. God bless you, one lady. God bless you, chosen vessel. How you doing? Yes, how you doing? Uh, Myra Nemus, how you doing? Hulk Hogan, I like that name. <laughs> how you doing, Miss Juanita, Minister Valerie, and Beauty and Faden? How you doing? All right, so a lot of people, you're dealing with fear. Oh my God, I'm getting ready to tell you my testimony, what God brought me up out of. I'm going to pray for you, and you're going to get set free today. Wow, so I'm excited for you. But I wanted to make a few announcements before I get into this. Uh, my God, I feel the fire of God in my belly. Woo! God is doing it already, Jesus. My God. If you don't follow me on Facebook, follow me on Facebook. I just did a Facebook Live. I'm going to start doing some Facebook Lives to encourage you guys. I just did a little short teaching on God is calming the storm or prophetic word. So if you got a storm in your life, go and watch that. You know, Prophet is Kimberly Hargraves or Kimberly Hargraves. Go find that. Yeah, uh, I pray for your job. Oh, praise God, you got a job opening something up. So I, I, didn't, I missed it. Okay, let me just give you this right quick. Amen. Okay, let me switch the camera. Guys, guess what, y'all? Oh, my God, I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. I'm going to North Carolina. Yes, Highport, North Carolina on the 11th. So please come meet me. It's going to be a prophetic healing conference. I'm getting ordained. Look at God. Woo! Yeah, so come meet me. All this information, you know, um, it's on. I, I need to update my website. So, yeah. Woo, I don't know what that was. Okay. All right. Saturday is going down. Woo. If you want me to prophesy, if you need healing, deliverance, call this number. 605-562-3140-673-436. It's going to be Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to go down. I know God is going to meet. The glory of God is going to meet us. I'm excited. Woo. Okay. If you haven't pre-ordered my book, hurry up right now and go pre-order it. If you're struggling in your prayer life, you if you just like challenges, if you want to go higher in God, another dimension, I'm telling you, pre-order this book. If you support this ministry, pre-order this book. Amen. Be a blessing. My God, this is my 10th book, and I thank God for that. Amen. I'm trying to get the people of God to pray more. Amen. You know, we don't do enough praying in the body of Christ, and we need to pray more. All right, the next thing I want to show you guys is if you haven't already <clears throat> signed up for the School of the Prophets, class starts October 6th. You know, it's going to go down. I'm excited. You know, <clears throat> I'm, not I'm not training you to be a prophet, but I'm going to help you to hear Holy Spirit for yourself, and you're going to go higher in God, amen, to another level, another dimension. All right, and the next thing I want to sh um, show you guys, the conference. I have an, my first prophetic miracle conference out here in Colorado Springs, and just register. It's free registration. All right. All right, if you haven't got your book packets, get your book packets, support the ministry. Oh, yeah, please. I would love to meet you, LaFay Davis. Yeah, we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. Woo, I'm excited. All right. Okay, okay. So today we're going to read out of my book, my new book, my newest book before, um, the book before the one is coming out, you know. All right, Set the Captives Free, a book of deliverance. Let me tell you something. My God, a lot of people right now, you got a horrible past. You know, you feel like God can't use me? Let me tell you something. If God can use me, God can use anybody. Let me tell you something. I used to be a stripper. You know, I used to be a liar. You know, I used to be very, very fast and promiscuous. But look at God, you know? And I used to be, you know, like, uh, let me see, a, a, a F student, you know, in high school. But the hand of the Lord came on my life, and he's like, you ain't, you're no dummy, you know? And I, I'm, I'm educated. I got a degree in biology, chemistry, one more class away from my master's degree. That's God. That's God. So when God gets on your life, he will, I'm telling you, he will polish you. He will refine you. Amen. And that's exactly what God did for me. Amen. I want to encourage somebody, go through the process. Amen. Let the Lord transform you into a new creature in Christ. Amen. Let him, my God, Jesus. I'm telling you. Yes, I'm, I'm telling you. Jesus. Y'all about to make me cut up today. Jesus. All right. 
So today we're going to be talking about fear. Amen. So in this book, I, I, I tell it all, like what God brought me up out of. Amen. And fear was one of the things that the Lord uh, delivered me from. Amen. So let me tell you a little bit about my testimony. And a lot of people, you've been struggling with fear right now. And we're going to expose that devil. And he's going to come out today in the name of Jesus. So, you know, when people lay down with somebody, when you fornicate, when you sin against God, you know, people, when, when, when you do us, how you doing? Uh, how you doing, Quanisha? I miss you, woman of God. So when you when you fornicate, when you have sex with somebody, it is a spiritual act as well. You know, you are transferring spirits. And that's exactly what happened to me. So here I was. I wanted to be Miss Grown, hot behind. And, you know, I went out there and I backslid and I got into fornication. And how you doing? How you doing? And, and what happened was the person that I messed with had anxiety. So here I was, I never was afraid of anything in my life. So I start getting anxiety. So I remember the first time I'm driving down the street, I just got off from work because I used to work in the hospital. And then all of a sudden I felt like I was going to die. I was like, oh my God, I'm about to die. You know, I was about to, black, I felt like I was going to black out. My heart was palpitating. You know, I couldn't breathe. It was like something squeezing my chest. I was like, Ooh. and then I just, I, all I knew what to do was to call on the name Jesus. So, woo! So I called Jesus. I called on God, my God. And I made it back to my house at the time. So, and I just began to anoint myself. It felt horrible. So, it, it kept coming, it kept coming. It felt like I was going to die, that anxiety, that anxiety. My anxiety attacks was so bad. Here I work, I, I work in the ER, you know, the emergency room. I work, you know, the busy, you know, the ER is busy. So, here, every time I pass somebody, I was like, <gasps> Like, I felt like I'm going to vomit everywhere. You know, it's horrible. So I lived with that for five years. Five years, the enemy was in my head every day. You're sick. You're going to die. I'm going to kill you. This tormented me for five years. I dealt with this five years. It was debilitating. It messed up my life. I couldn't go out to eat. I couldn't ride in a car with nobody. I couldn't be around a lot of people. I was isolated. And that's exactly what the enemy wants to do. He wants to isolate people and, and get you by yourself so he can destroy you. My God. So when I was in that isolation place, that's when the suicidal thoughts came in. God delivered me from suicide, uh, suicidal thoughts. You know, I thought about uh, driving in the lake. You know, I thought about slicing my wrist. I thought about taking some pills, you know, I was very suicidal. So that's what happened. But God set me free in the same way God set me free can set you free as well. Amen. So yes, I looked normal on the, on the outside, but I was a wreck. I was a hot mess. Here I was, I couldn't talk to nobody without feeling like I was going to throw up and it's horrible. My heart was like, that, that's nothing but a demonic attack from the pits of hell. And that's not the will of God for you to live like that. You know, maybe your anxiety is not that bad. You know, uh, and, you know, maybe it's like a fear factor. God told you to do something, but you're hesitant and you're scared to step out. You know, we, we're going to break, I rebuke fear off of you in the name of Jesus. My God, you know, I'm, I'm coming after this devil today. My God, I'm telling you, that is not the will of God for you people. That is not the will of God. I'm telling you, fear is the opposite of faith. Fear is the opposite of faith. And that's not God's plan for your life. I'm telling you. Five years, the Lord let me suffer because I knew better. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's something when you know God and then when you backslide. Oh, my God. So I don't care how fine a person is. My God. You know, I don't want your STD. You should keep your sexual transmitted demons to yourself. You know, that experience, going through that for five years, it keeps me living right. Amen. I don't care. Somebody could pay me $1,000 to sleep with them. I wouldn't do it. Amen. Because I, I love God too much. And I don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this is people, people of God. Yes. Amen. I'm telling you. Amen. I thank you. I thank God for confirmation. So I want I want you to live right. Amen. I want you to live uprightly before God and not compromise. Because every time you compromise, you open a demonic portal to your life and you give the enemy access to torment you. That's exactly what happened to me. Five years. And then once I gave, yielded all the way to the Holy Spirit, I'm like, hey, God, I'm, I'm tired of running. I'm going to submit to your plans for my life. And then God set me free. Woo! So he set me free. So he can set you free as well. So um, let me put this thing down. Amen. Let me put this down. Okay. If this is blessing you, share and invite some followers. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a little hyper today. My God. All right, so we're going to be reading on my book, Set the Captives Free. Amen. So we already know the acumen, the, the acronym for, you know, fear, false evidence appearing real. You know that. 
You know, and fear is the opposite of faith. You know, and it's going to keep you from God's best. It's going to keep you from God's best. Make a decision today and say, bye-bye fear. You are a trespasser in Jesus' name. Let it go. I, some people need to push back the plate. Let me tell you something. It's all up in here. It's all in here. The mind is the battlefield. Let me tell you, that's 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 where the enemy wants to attack you at. Right here in your mind. But you got to meditate on words. You know how I got rid of the fear? Let me tell you what I did. Okay. Uh, initially, when I felt the fear coming on me, you know, I, I, I tried. I was like, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But the enemy was tormenting me because I ain't had no word in me. My God. You know, I didn't have the anointing, the glory of God on my life like I have it like on me now. So what I did was I went to the doctor. They gave me pills. Pills ain't work. When the pills lift off, lift off of me and made it made me feel worse, like a bad withdrawal effect. So I was like, okay, God, pills ain't working. I can't try the word way, God. I gotta, I gotta try your way, God. So what I did, I got in the word of God and I began to meditate on some scriptures. Amen. Please go to my website and I got tons of resources on fear. You know, free resources. Amen. If you struggle with fear, I, look look that up. The lady in the story, I think her name is Sandy. That's me. I'm Sandy in that story. Amen. But I think it's under I think it's under messages. Go to my website and look under messages. I wrote I wrote like a, a little testimonial, and it's it's on my profile. It's on my profile. Amen. And it's it's my name, KimberlyHargrace.com. And I was Sandy in the story. That was me driving home. That was me. All right. But at the time, I didn't want to put my name in it because I was still going through. Amen. But I'm free now, baby, so I'm testifying. Whoa, I'm giving God praise, Jesus. <laughs> all right. So fear can cause all types of problems. You know, 1 Timothy 1, 7 says, God has not given us a spirit of fear. He hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind. You know, so the, my fear, the source of my fear that I had anxiety come from ungodly soul ties. I don't know what the source of your fear is, but whatever the source of your fear is, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cut her up at the root in Jesus' name. And I send forth the fire, God, right now in Jesus' name. I need you to receive. Amen. If you, I feel the anointing right now. The anointing to set you free. I need you to put your hands to my hands. My God, put your hands to my hands. And I send forth the fire, God, right now to consume you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet right now. I bind up the strong men of fear and I command it to come out right now in Jesus' name. I send forth more fire right now. Woo, fire, Jesus the holy spirit my god i feel the fire of god just consuming right now do it god do it jesus my god hallelujah sorry to give my testimony so let me tell you something in isaiah 41 10 isaiah 41 10 god tells us this is a commandment he says fear not because i'm with you he said don't be dismayed because he said i am your god I will strengthen you and I will help you and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let me tell you something. That verse, Isaiah 41, 10, if you struggle with fear, if you have panic attacks, you know, if something's, you know, if the enemy's tormenting your mind, meditate on this scripture. You got to get this thing inside of your heart. You got to make this word work for you. I'm telling you. So when the enemy try to come in and like, oh, you're going to die, I'm going to kill you. You said, nah, devil, you're a liar. Because Isaiah 41, 10 told me not to fear not because God is with me. Amen. You, I'm telling you, when the enemy try to talk to you and tell you something bad going to happen to you, you got to talk back. Amen. And you got to say, devil, you got to go in Jesus' name. A lot of people right now, the enemy is trying to torment your mind. I'm, I'm telling you, Jesus, how you doing, Pastor Erlene? I need, I need you right now to lay hands on your head. Lay hands on your head right now in, in the name of Jesus. God, I send the fire of God to touch every mind on here in the name of Jesus. And I root and I destroy down every demonic seed planted by the enemy. I come against that tormenting spirit in the name of Jesus. I come against that lying deception spirit in the name of Jesus. Get out in Jesus' name. My God, hallelujah. I send forth more fire. Come on, people of God. You're getting, you're going to get set free today. Some of you are yawning. Some of you, you know, got tears in your eyes. My God, some of you feel like you got a belch. Pass gas, whatever. That's the sign of deliverance. I need you. Some of you might feel a little bit queasy. I need you just to let God have his way. Surrender. If you, some of you might be coughing up some phlegm. You know, I need you just to surrender and just let it go. Whatever comes up, let it out. Don't swallow that stuff back down. Amen. Let this stuff out in Jesus' name. When I got delivered from fear, I was coughing up a lot of junk. I'm telling you. But that's God. God set me free. I feel good today. Jesus. <laughs> All right, Jesus. All right, my God. See, y'all got me, y'all got me cracking up. Y'all got me acting up today. 
All right. So God doesn't want you to live in fear. That's not his will for your life. Amen. If you want to be used by God, you cannot have fear. Amen. You cannot have fear. Fear. I'm telling you, if you want to be used by God, you know, God's been speaking to some of you. Some of you want to step out in the prophetics and, and um, pray for the sick, kill the sick and cast out demons. You know, just move in another realm of the, in the mission of God. I'm telling you, 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 you can't be in, operating in fear, you know, because it's going to hold you back. Because let me tell you something. Faith, faith is the opposite of fear. Faith is the currency of everything in this kingdom, the kingdom of God, you got to use faith for everything. You got to use faith to prophesy. You got to use faith to heal the sick and cast out demons. You know, wherever God's telling you, you got to have faith to even believe God for the simplest things, to answer your prayers. So how, how can you let fear torment you? Enough is enough. Make a decision today and say, enough is enough. Amen? Come on now. So people have phobias, fear of death, fear of loss, fear, you know, anxiety, fear of bugs and water, whatever. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus, my God. You know, I think I only have one one more thing of fear. I, I don't like rodents. Oh, my God. I, I, I freak out. Whoa, Jesus. My God, I don't like spiders, you know, but that's the only thing, <laughs> you know. Uh, ugh, but, yeah, I still need deliverance from that. But other than that, you know, I, I just, yeah, yeah, enough is enough. But yeah, but fear about like dying and stuff like that. Let me tell you something. To be absent from the bodies, to be present with the Lord. The enemy told me every day for five years, you're going to die, I'm going to kill you. And then I got that revelation of the scripture. I'm like, okay, I went through enough hell already on earth. My God, you know, for Christ to, you know, for to, for to live is Christ and, you know, to die is gain. Amen. So I was like, to be absent from the bodies, to be present with the Lord. I, I'm going to trust God. Amen. Jesus, I, the, the heaven is my home anyways. I'm just passing through. So when I, when I stopped caring, that's when the enemy stopped tormenting me, telling me I was going to die. You know, he stopped doing that. You know, I'm telling you, you got to get the right word in you. You got to get the right word in you, Jesus. You know, God wants you to be uh, courageous. Amen. When the enemy try to come your way, try to tell you some nonsense, you got to look him in the eye, the enemy in the eye, and say, devil, get out my way. I'm going right through you in Jesus' name. Amen. That's the kind of people God is raising up. God wants you to be bold, baby. He wants you to be courageous amen i'm telling you when that anointing comes wow jesus when that anointing comes that's right jesus i'm telling you fearless my god I'm, i i prophesy you're going to be fearless after the day in jesus name my god so oh my god hallelujah fear it's just the placebo it's no threat it's no threat it's false the enemies all talk and no bite you know all talk blah blah blah, blah no bite I'm telling you, somebody called him before a, a toothless lion. My God, Jesus. He looked all, like, you know, you know how lions look all, you know, ferocious, but just no teeth. <laughs> you know, so my God. All right. So in the presence of God, in the presence of God, I'm telling you, that fear has to cease. In God's presence, in his glory, that fear has to cease. I'm telling you, people of God, if you, if you struggle with fear, I need you with everything you have within you to seek God with everything in you and, and yield and get in his presence. Amen. Get in his presence because that fear has to go in Jesus name. And God is going to give you the strength right now. I pray for strength right now to come upon you to overcome fear right now in Jesus name. And God is going to help you conquer fear today right now. You get in his word. Amen. Get in his word in Jesus name. Amen. Meditate on the word of God. Meditate on the word of God. Amen. And get his word in your heart and get his heart, word in your mind. Make it work for you. That's what I had to do. Make that word work for you. Jesus. All right. So I, I learned how to meditate when I was, I'm telling you, I had like a few scriptures to fight back. When I felt when I was in the ER working and I felt fear trying to come up in me, I was like, you know, inside of my mind, I have to get the right scriptures. And it's like, no, devil, you are a liar. You got to get up out in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, Jesus. All right. So I felt fear leave me when I started meditating on the word of God. My God. So God is going to uphold you with his word. You know, God gave me victory over fear and God's going to give you victory over fear. Amen. So meditate. Meditate. My favorite scripture that I, that I meditated on was Philippians 4. Philippians 4. Verses 6 through 7. Philippians 4, verses 6 through 7. I meditate on that. I got that word inside of me. I, I'm telling you. It says, don't be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, make your requests known unto God. Amen. And it's peace. Some of y'all need peace right now. You know, uh, the peace of God will surpass all your understanding and guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. 
Amen. It's like when you let fear come in, it's going to steal your joy, your peace. It's going to cause you to crazy. My God. You know, people like, for example, I used to be claustrophobic, you know, and I used to feel like I was going to die being suffocated. Because, for example, when I worked in the hospital uh, as a respiratory therapist, you know, I had to treat patients with tuberculosis, TB, right? And I had to put on a special mask on my face. And, like, you know, I'm in the room. I had to give them medicine. I'm in the room sometimes for, like, 20 minutes. But here I'm about to have an anxiety attack. I can't even do my job effectively because I'm feeling claustrophobic. That's not the will of God. You know, but God broke that thing off of me. And I was able to wear the mask in the room and, um, uh, you know, do my job. You know, and it's not, it's not like I could take the mask off because the mask, you know, TB is airborne. So I, I had to wear a special mask to keep the, you know, the, the patient's particles the respiration particles from breathing that stuff in. So anyways, crazy. So the enemy wanted me to have a panic attack with this mask on and take it off, you know, and try to catch TB. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Amen. So that's why people of God, you, you can no longer allow fear to run your life. You know, you cannot. It's, it's debilitating. Amen. Take a stand today. Take a stand today and say, I done had enough in Jesus name. I, I, I'm, I'm being set free in Jesus name. You know, I'm going to be set free. Amen? So, don't worry. When you worry about something, it shows you have a lack of faith and you're letting fear rise up. You know, people of God need you to have more uh, faith than you have fear. Amen? I don't want you to have any ounce of fear. The only fear I want you to have is fear for, for the Lord. Amen? I want you to be in so much awe of God and His presence and, and, and so reverence of, of, of the Holy Spirit that you won't sin against Him. Amen. That's right. You are free. I decree and declare you're free. Komodo in Jesus name. Hallelujah. So somebody just right now, because I got to get ready to get out of here, but just surrender. Surrender right now. Surrender. Yep. Worry. Lack of word. That's right. And just put your hands up. Say, God, right now, I'll give you the fear. God, God, I pray for release in Jesus name. Lord God, Lord, I send forth more fire, God, to consume in Jesus name. Somebody lay hands on your stomach right now. Lay hands on your stomach right now. I decree and declare that the fire of God hits you right now. The power of God hits in Jesus' name. And you're being set free from fear right now in Jesus' name. And I feel the fire of God burning on you, baby. Woo, I feel it. My God, Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive this anointing to set you free and deliver you in Jesus' name. My God. Yes. My God, I praise you, God. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, whatever's, whatever's bothering today, stress. Let it go. You don't want that stress to trigger those anxiety attacks. I, I've been there. I remember, um, you know, I, I, I think I'm going to tell my testimony real quick. My God, you know, watch my Facebook Live and I, I tell my testimony. But two years ago, I, I got in bad trouble. I was in a bad storm in my life and it was really stressful to me. And I was on probation. I owe thousands of dollars in restitution. And I remember going to my probation report, you know, and I had an anxiety attack in her office because of the stress, you know, and... That's, that's not God. That's not of God. But God set me free, baby. Woo! I'm on probation. I can travel now. I'm telling you, look at God. You know, I begin to prophesy to my storms. Jesus. You know, I used to have an anger issue, but God set me free. And I put all that in this book. Amen. I'm telling you, look at God. Look at God. You know, I'm telling you, don't, don't, don't allow nobody to make you feel bad for your past. Oh, well, I did it. So what? Amen. I'm a new creature in Christ, baby. Woo! Amen. So, yeah. Jesus. So, I, I'm telling you, I done, I done did some crazy things. Amen. And when I, the things I did is going to help somebody else to help. Jesus. So, I can tell you everything not to do. Amen. If you just hearken, I'm telling you, just listen. Jesus. I'm telling you, Jesus, that, that this stuff ain't fun. So, don't allow, don't allow the stressors in life to trigger anxiety. Amen. Uh, you, you need to get, yep, you need to get free. I'm telling you, meditate and Get the word of God inside of you. Amen. I'm telling you, God rebuked that stronghold off of me. I'm free now, Jesus. I'm excited, Jesus. I'm, I'm about to get up and give God praise. My God, Jesus, yes. Amen. Because let me tell you something. Somebody's waiting on your testimony. Somebody's waiting on your testimony, Jesus. See, I couldn't testify while I was going through. But now that I'm out of this thing, baby, well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell it all. I'm going to give my God praise. I'm going to give my God the glory because that's God, Jesus. My God, that's Woo, Jesus. All right, y'all. So, walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Walk by faith and not by sight. All right, I haven't, I didn't really read all the book. So, 
because I gotta, I'm, I'm, I'm running out of time. Amen? That's right. So I'm going to pray right now. Just bring out receive, receive. So dear Heavenly Father, God, you are so good. Lord God, we're thankful that you are our God. Lord, we repent of our sins today. Somebody say, I'm sorry, God. You know, and, and whatever door that's open to your life to sin, close it now. Close it right now. Make a decision today to, to, to leave the, to the wrong people. Uh, you know, leave them alone. Say bye-bye to the wrong people. Amen. Stop fornicating. Stop shacking up. And, and live right, Jesus. So the enemy has no room to torment you. You know when Jesus healed people, he said, go and sin no more. Because he knew that once he set them free, they didn't close the door to sin, it will let the enemy back in their lives. So, all right? You're getting set free today. But I need you, people of God, and I feel the fire of God burning right now. I need you to don't play with God. Amen? And close that door to sin in your life. Amen? And and. Right now, I bind up the strong man of anxiety right now in the name of Jesus. I command all fear to leave us right now in Jesus' name. Leave us right now in the name of Jesus. That's right. Holiness is still right. I'm telling you, that's the only way to be. Righteousness. Practice righteousness. You got to learn how to practice righteousness. All right. So, uh, God, send forth the fire, God, right now to burn up every ounce and every residue of fear right now. I command all spirit of fear to come up out of your gut right now because it, lo it loves to hide in guts. Come up out. Dislodge yourself and come up, up, come up and out right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. My God, I decree and declare that God is holding you up with his righteous right hand. God is your strength. My God, and you living in fear is not the will of God for your life. Amen. I'm telling you, Lord, baptize in love right now. Baptize us right now in the love of Jesus Christ. Because, you know, I'm telling you, there's no fear in love. Perfect love casts out fear. Amen. God, you said fear has to do with punishment. And whoever fears has not been perfected in love. God, perfect us right now in love. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Y'all come against fear of interviews. Right now in the name of Jesus. My God, I used to be so fearful of interviews. You know, when I had anxiety. But the devil is a liar. Interview me now, God. Whoa, Jesus. Huh? I'm going to rock that thing, God. For your glory, Jesus. Whoa, Jesus. All right. Amen. So, I decree and declare that. Hallelujah. We're thankful that we can call on God. We can call on God. Hallelujah. And he's going to set us free. He is going to set us free. Amen. He's going to set you free today. I prophesy the day is the day of your deliverance. Receive it in Jesus' name. Today is the day of deliverance for you. If you feel the fire of God, say, I feel the fire. I feel something I haven't felt before. I feel something moving in my belly. I feel, I can't stop coughing. I can't stop yawning. I, just tell me what you feel right now. Tell me what you feel right now because something is breaking off you right now. I feel this thing so strongly. My God, hallelujah, you feel the fire. Thank you, God, for our CCs. Hallelujah, touching her, Lord God. Hallelujah, who else feel? We're going we're gonna to praise God for you. Amen, we're going to praise God. Hallelujah. Let me, know, let me know what you feel. I'm telling you, I feel this thing. Jesus, and I feel the fire, God, on somebody's back right now. Jesus, I, I need you. Oh, Roshima, you feel good. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the, the word of God in Proverbs 29, 25 says, uh, the fear of a man lays a snare. You feel fire. Praise God for Jacqueline, everybody. Hallelujah. You're yawning. Amen. Praise God. That's, she's getting delivered. Amen. That's good. Amen. Because, you know, um, it's, spirits are breath, pneuma, so it comes up out when you yawn. Amen. Look, I give, I give God praise. Hallelujah. Amen. So whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. Whoever trusts in the Lord is safe. You feel free. Look at joy. Let's give God praise. Amen. For peace, joy. And she said her headache is leaving. Praise God. Yes, we, we give God praise. Even healing is on the scope. Look at God. Jesus. God is doing it. I'm excited. Jesus. Whoa. All right. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, she's yawning. Let's give let's give God praise for uh Peach Day. Hallelujah. She's yawning. Hallelujah. Um uh, I don't have to lay hands on you because the presence of God is here. Amen. And he'll touch you himself. You feel it in the back of your head. Victoria Mott. Praise God for her. Jacqueline is yawning. Hallelujah. You got to go back and watch the replay. I don't have time to be going over three things. Amen. All right. So this is one of my favorite scriptures. Amen. I remember when I first uh, kingdom do was yawning. Look at God. I remember when I uh, first lost my secular job when I was in the hospital working. And I had to trust God by faith to survive, you know. And I remember meditating on 
Psalms 56, 3 and 4, and it got me through. I'm telling you, Jesus, a lot of people were scared of losing things. Amen. I've been through there. Hallelujah. And God is so, he's a sustainer. He's going to provide for you. Amen. He's going to take care of you because he loves you. He loves you that much. You know, I'm telling you, up Psalms 56, 3 and 4, meditate on that thing. I'm telling you, it says, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you, Lord. You know, in God, whose word I praise. My God. Come on now. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be afraid. Uh, what can flesh do to you? I was up on the fourth watch and feeling something taking place. Glory. Look at God. Look at God. Jesus. Wow. You spoke on yawn and I take deep breaths and top of my head feels numb. I can't explain. That's the, uh, whenever deliverance manifests in different ways, I'm telling you. Yeah. It, 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 it uh, yeah, it manifests in different ways. So if you feel something different, just know that you received your deliverance today. Amen. I'm telling you, crying, yawning, burping. Yes, I, I thank you. Money's come today. I, I had to cry, touch and agree with that. Hallelujah. So Joshua 1 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. You know, I'm telling you, because God is with you wherever you go. God is with us wherever we go. So I decree and declare we're no longer slaves to fear. Amen. You need deliverance because the word of God says, uh, Oh, deliverance is the children's bread. Healing is the children's bread. And Jesus Christ, he died on the cross for our deliverance. Amen. Yes, you haven't been to scope of your See, that's good. The deliverance anointing is here. Look at God. You know, if we talk about the word, we should be, be able to demonstrate the word, right? Because the word of God says the kingdom of heaven is not only in word, but it's in power. It's in demonstration. So you be you, everybody has the kingdom of God within them. So I want you people of God to get... Um, uh, this is, I'm telling you, the enemy is manifesting on here. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. See, the devil's on here. You know, but Satan, you cannot stop this move of God in Jesus' name. And I pray that the fire of God hits you. I'm going to leave you on here. Amen. I prophesy. You know, you're going to have an encounter with Jesus Christ. And you're going to confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I decreed in your life. The decree has already been set forth. And you know what? You can die tonight. You know, you can die tonight, and you're going to remember this. This, this moment is going to reflect in front of your eyes. And, and, and you're going to remember, and you're going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, because it says every knee shall bow. Amen. And every tongue shall confess under earth. You know, that means all the demons. Amen. Even your God, even your, your, your you know, Lucifer knows that Jesus is Lord and Savior. Amen. Come on. Jesus made a mockery. He made a mockery of Satan. Amen. I'm telling you. Satan felt like lightning from heaven. So, woo, he's already defeated foe. Amen. He's already, I mean, come on now. You're, you're defeated. Your you're, you're so-called God is defeated. Come on now. Little G, he's defeated in Jesus' name. He has no power. Come on now. I'm telling you. I'm tell, Every time we do these things, cast out demons. Woo, I'm telling you, the enemy always shows up. Yes. And then uh, we're, we're going to do warfare. We're going to do warfare. I might come back maybe tonight or tomorrow night. And uh, we're going to do warfare. We're going to cast on some demons. Amen. And miracles going to break out. I'm telling you, we're going to have fun. You know, this is the best revenge to cast out the enemy and heal the sick in Jesus' name. This is like, this is super fun. I love this. I love this. Amen. So, you know, I decree and declare. Let me get back to praying. Amen. Hallelujah. I decree and declare. And, you know, I'm just planting seeds in your life. That's all. You know, it's just a distractor. You know, that's why you're on here. Even atheists know in God. Yes. So I decree and declare that we're no longer slaves to fear in Jesus' name. In Isaiah 43, 2, when we pass through the water, you know, God is with us. When we go through the rivers, they're not going to overwhelm us, you know. And when we go through the fire, we're not going to be coming out smelling like smoke. So we thank you, God, for answering this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, the fool, a fool says there's no God. So I'm going to leave that alone. Yeah, hallelujah. So, it says, set the captives for your book of deliverance. Amen. So, if you want this book, be, be a blessing to the, to the ministry. Amen. All right, people of God. Uh, um, I got it ready. I got to get out of here so I can go to church and um, help feed some homeless people today. Amen. All right, let me get the troll off here. All right. All right, so people of God, um, um, Remember, uh, Saturday, Saturday, we're having a prophetic miracle call, you know, 
Um, if you have a prayer request, send me your prayer request. Email me. I'm, I'm giving away free prophetic teachings. Subscribe to my mailing list. Every week I'm going to give out free prophetic teachings. Amen. So I love each and every one of you guys. Y'all have a blessed day. God bless.